Hi everybody, it's Sharon. This week I had the pleasure of going to Muir Woods, just 45 minutes north of San Francisco. It offers a world apart with the tall redwood trees and the cool shady forest. It's not unusual to see the visitors looking up all the time, but I often have to remind them that there's a lot to see at your feet. Let's take a closer look. On the forest floor at Muir Woods, you'll find a carpet of redwood sorrel. Since sorrel likes moisture and shade, it's no surprise that its habitat closely mirrors that of the redwood tree itself. Redwood sorrel differs from clover in that its leaves are distinctly heart-shaped and have a crease in the middle. In fact, when sorrel is exposed to sun, it folds down. Sorrel's leaves are edible, although oxalic acid gives them a bitter flavor. Here and there within the sorrel beds, we can spot Pacific Trillium. Part of the lily family, it gets its name from three leaves, three petals, and three stigma. Trillium can be found all over the U.S. There are 49 different species. The rhizomes of the trillium, that is the underground root system, was sacred to the Native American women who used them to ease the pain of childbirth. They called it birth root. The trillium has a white flower when it blooms in spring that changes to darker pink as it ages and later dies. Also part of the ecosystem is the western sword fern. It gets its name because the frond shape and each leaflet is a shape of a dagger with toothed edges and a base that looks like a sword hilt. Western sword ferns are plentiful and hardy, but sensitive too. If a drought occurs, they slow their growing. And they may turn brown. In their weakened condition, they can also be subject to insect pests. These signs in Muir Woods talk about the browning ferns and their attackers, greenhouse thrips. And while we're talking about the forest floor, we can't omit Redwood Creek. This video of salmon was taken in March 2019, and the blue heron was in April 2019. You've got to have a sharp eye to catch the banana slug, but he's definitely there. And if you're looking for ladybugs, they start to appear June, July, and August. Thanks for joining me today. Catch you later. Bye.